like to separate it in my video hole, like would they be in a hole in certain like situations? Sometimes it's like yes, sometimes it's no, but it, the verdict is um, determined by the comments of that Reddit post. But yeah, I really enjoy doing these videos and I hope you guys enjoy them too. So without further ado, I have my water bottle with me and it's time to read some Reddit stories. So, I only have a couple for today. So, let's do this one. So, this one is a mining eagle for telling my kids to make their own breakfast. Alright, it reads, My twins, both 11 male, have started this thing on the weekends where they wake up at, where they wake up at the crack of dawn and wake me up because they're hungry. Most of the time, I get up and make them food, but sometimes, like today, I don't feel very well, and I tell them to make themselves with like cereal, make something like white bowl, or grab a snack until I fully wake up. I'm a slow riser, and I can't get up and go. They refuse and keep demanding I get up and make them food. My partner believes that I'm in the right when I do this, and that they're 100% capable of feeding themselves. While I'm honestly not sure, I understand that eating something cooked by your mom is a special and act of love, and maybe that's why the boys are so pushy about it. I admittedly have a hard time finding the line between cuddling my kids and pushing them to be more independent. So, that is why I'm here, looking for outside opinions. So, I feel like this is pretty easy. Like, as a kid, I, um, like, especially since they're, like, 11, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a good time to start, like, teaching your kids, like, oh, um, like, mommy isn't gonna be all up and ready to cook you food all the time, so I want you guys to kind of learn how to do things yourself. Like, obviously, they're not gonna be fully independent, like, sometimes when their mom is up for it, they can cook, but sometimes... It's just easier for them, especially when the mom is kind of drained and stuff like. And I'm also thinking, where's the like the husband or the partner? I don't know if there are. It's a husband or a partner. Yeah, partner. So we don't really know. So the partner, I don't know why they don't make them breakfast or something like that. But I don't know. But yeah, I feel like just teaching your kids to be kind of a little bit more independent, like. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, fully. They have to do all the things themselves, which is, like, teaching them, like, oh, how to do certain things. Like, folding their own clothes and stuff like that. Like, my parents were pretty good about teaching me how to do certain things. Like, like I know I love how my mom makes my sandwiches when I was a kid. But, but like, by, like, middle, like, being a teenager, you should at least know how to make your own lunch. Like, obviously, if your mom offers, like, oh, hey, I'll make your lunch for you. That's obviously fine, but your kid, like, like as you grow up, you should really kind of learn how to do things on your own, especially if your parents are out. Like, before I went to college, my parents kind of really taught me everything I needed to know. I learned how to, like, mow my, like, not mow lawn, but like, like, well, I learned how to mow the lawn, but my dad built, like, certain household, household tasks, like, um, cleaning the bathroom like what chemicals to use, like mopping, cooking my own food, doing my own laundry, and like just kind of like learning how to grocery shop and like what good, what things like are kind of like good to have and like just learning how to cook basic meals. Like when I was in college, I was fully able to kind of like survive on my own. Like, I don't think, like, I'm able to, like, kind of do a lot of the things. Like, maybe, like, maybe not, like, paying the bills and stuff. But my parents will kind of help me with that, too. But just, like, all kind of, like, the household stuff and being able to cook for myself and stuff like that. So, like, yeah, I feel like, like, I feel like you guys can have, like, a little bit of a discussion with the boys. Like, always be like, yeah, it would be, like, yeah, it's nice for your mom to cook for you, but... Sometimes when your mommy is not really up for cooking, you guys can kind of make yourself something or just kind of like teach them how to make it themselves too, but just kind of have like a good conversation with them about them learning how to kind of do things for themselves. Like, yeah, maybe like learning how to do different stuff. But yeah, definitely not the a-hole for this one. Pretty easy. story. Alright, this one is um, titled Am I the a-hole for being mad? 
had over double standards in my marriage. So let's see what this reads. A week ago, I asked my daughter, eight years old, to quickly watch her brother, ten months old, when I picked up some things from the floor that I had been working on during his nap. She really asked to watch him, as I feel like he is my job, not hers. Hubby came home and saw that she was watching the baby and went off on me and how I was irresponsible. Accidents happened quickly and she wouldn't know what to do in a, in a joking event. <sighs> Starting off to a great start. These are all res reasonable fears, so I made the necessary changes to ensure I am there to watch him all at all times. Today, Sunday, I asked him to watch um, baby as I started making a uh, baking a large order. So it seems like she is in the baking business. I came into the room and noticed he was alone watching TV. I asked him where the baby was and he replied that our daughter was watching him in her bedroom. Her bedroom is on the opposite side of the, opposite side of the house with a TV player and you could definitely not hear what was going on in her room. I pointed out to him that he yelled at me last week for the same thing and he replied, that was different. Yeah. Definitely not the a-hole here. When asked how, he replied, she wants to look after him. She came to ask me if she could. I was so mad I didn't leave them alone for long periods of time. I literally I was literally in and out of the room during all the time I was cleaning up, but that was neglectful and dangerous because I asked her to watch baby. While at the same time, it is perfectly okay for her to be left completely alone, rooms away from with the TV on, because she asked to watch him somehow. That would mean that she pays closer attention to him. Like, accidents don't happen when you choose to look after a baby. He is now mad at me, saying I was um, overreacting, that I am still in the wrong, while well, he is not. I accept that I was wrong in asking her to watch him, but am I wrong for being mad about the double standards? Obviously not, because it, like, double standards in a marriage have always been weird, because, like, um, like, with a man, with a husband and a wife, a wife is always expected to watch their hurt babies 100% of the time and never having any time alone with her, like with herself. But a dad is always sit, like, like they're always giving them bare minimum praise for hardly even watching the kids. Like, the kid is sitting right next to him in the bed while he's just like watching TV, not even paying attention to the baby. And he gets praised for being like, oh, look at him, babysitting. Like, they call like watching a kid to like fathers babysitting they call it babysitting but they say it for mother's child care like no it's not babysitting it's called child care you need to watch your own child and obviously if your wife can't watch your um, child you should like if your like daughter wants to watch the baby have her watch the baby while they're in the same room together like have the husband be in the same place with the daughter and the baby. Like, like, that is more irresponsible than, like, leaving for, like, a second. Obviously, things happen, can happen real quick, real quick good to babies. But for them, for the husband to say that she is more irresponsible than him, when he was he didn't even know what was happening with the baby, I definitely feel like she is definitely not the a-hole in this situation and the husband should really like really think through why he is like why he's reacting this way but yeah definitely not the a-hole here all right i have one less am i the a-hole story but if this doesn't go like long enough i have a off my chest story as well that i didn't read last week all right this one the title is am i the a-hole for making my son live with me so he won't be around his dad or stepmom all right i 40 female have a son jaden 16 male with my ex 
ex-husband, 42, male, Jaden's dad, and I divorced 10 years ago when Jaden was 6. I'm still single with Jaden's dad. Uh, I'm still single while Jaden's dad is remarried with his wife, 36F. Jaden has lived with his dad and stepmom on weekdays and me on the weekends since he started high school two years ago. Since his school is much closer to his dad's house, Jaden mainly goes to play football with his friends and work part-time at the local McDonald's. Well, that's good. Jaden's getting a little bit extra money to hang out with his friends, which is nice. Being honest, neither Jaden's dad nor I make a lot of money. We both live comfortably, but we certainly can't afford luxuries. That's why Jaden wanted to work. He needed money to go out with his friends, which is very good for him. I wish I kind of got a job when I was younger, but like I had a lot going on with school, so I wasn't really able to do that, especially when you're a minor. You're not really allowed to take a lot of hours. But yeah, that's good for him. When he got his job, I found out that Jaden's dad and stepmom were making him give him the money for bills. I didn't care at the time. His teaching and financial responsibility was my only thought. <sighs> I'll get back to that. Come, find, come to find out they were taking up to 70% of his check, which made Jaden upset. That didn't, that didn't, me, that didn't make me upset as well. Yes, Jaden is still a kid and should help from out from time to time, but he works so hard and enters more of his own money. I talked to his dad, who promised to make a budget with Jaden that would please both of them. I hope this would fix the issue. This con that conversation was about three months ago. Today, Jaden told me that they had been taking 100% of his paychecks. A quick look at his account confirmed this. Jaden has also told me whenever he tries to set limits with his dad or his stepmom, they killed him with saying like, oh, they saying, saying things like, I helped bring you um, into this world. The least you can do is help me out from his dad. And you're not my child, but I let you live with me anyway from his stepmom. This boy is 16. Why are you taking a lot of his money? I really don't like this behavior from these two. That kind of talk seems like manipulation and makes me uncomfortable. I told Jaden that I wanted him to live with me for the rem remainder of the school year, away from his dad and stepmom. He's old enough to the point where, he, where the courts can't force anything, and he agreed. He went to his dad's place to get some of his things until, and to tell that Jaden was moving. Um, they, they helped us to help get some of his stuff, but instead of handing it to us, they throw it, not a hard throw, but still off-putting. We left the house with Jaden's things and went home. While I do feel justified, I do have second thoughts about Jaden from his dad's like that, even if he agreed. Am I the a-hole? So, definitely not. So, especially in this climate that we're living in. A lot of people have been starting to work younger, which is like, obviously, like, if you want to work, like, when you're, like, 16, and, like, being able to get some money to, like, go out, do your little fun things, that's obviously really good. But this kid is 16. He's not 18. He's not 30. He is 16 working at McDonald's and especially now like and plus he's a minor. He doesn't really get a lot of hours anyway and so the bill, the checks wouldn't be that big. So um, and for his dad to take more than half and then like then all of his checks that is just like they're freeloading off of their own child who doesn't even have that much money to begin with and who wants to just save, just wants to have money to be able to go out with their friends. And that is just, that is nasty behavior, taking money from your own child because, just because you brought them into this world. I hate that argument. I hate that argument so much because it's just like, oh, I brought you into this world. They didn't ask for it. Why would you do that? Like, obviously, yeah, they don't have the biggest, like, they don't have, the, like, the luxury life.
lifestyle that some people have, but like they can't, they can't be really taking money, like they can't be taking money from their kid. Like obviously, yeah, like budgeting, say putting some money aside for like future things and stuff like that. Like obviously, like um, rainy day savings is not really much of a thing anymore for a lot of people, but he's still only 16 he still has like he's like he would be like a sophomore in high school like late sophomore early junior of high school sorry and they're taking money from him and saying all this manipulative stuff about like oh we're your parents, and we, um, we raised you, so we should be taking a lot of your money, and it's just like, I'm really happy that you took Jaden out of that situation, because those people are not good people, and I'm happy that Jaden can finally now not have to deal with the parents taking their money. Let me see if there's anything else. So, yeah. Oh, there's some comments from the poster that I can read too. So, um, not the eel, but at least document, but at the very least document everything. I still recommend getting a lawyer. We already made a new account today, Jay went to tell his boss about the new account so they can deposit his money there too. We did go back and take screenshots. And then there is this one where it says, not the a-hole, get your son a new big account so his dad does not have access to it. If he needs an adult co-signer, you'd be the adult. He should not be responsible for their bills, especially not them taking 100%. That's just ridiculous. Or are they giving back his money? They gave back like $400 right before we left their house. I have no clue if they plan to return it, return any more of it. So, at the very least, they have taken $400 from this kid. And there's like more, like, what if they've taken like over like almost a thousand dollars from this kid and it's just like yeah nasty nasty people nasty like like i've said i got a new job and i'm planning to save a lot of the money for moving out and stuff like that and it's just like i am thankful that my parents have not made me try to pay large portions of the bills. I have been told, like, oh, you're probably gonna have to start paying some of your bills, like, at least your phone bill, and I'm, like, perfectly fine with that. But, like, as a growing older, I'm kind of trying to learn how to save more money, like, not do as many things. Like, this summer, I spent a lot of money, and I feel like I should try not, like, I have kind of a shopping addiction a little bit, and it's just like, I am trying to work on my spending habits, like, not spending a whole lot of money, and stuff like that, so yeah, like, saving a lot of my money, like, especially, like, working at this job, and maybe I'll find, like, a little side hustle for myself. Or if I ever am able to pay, like, able to get, like, paid in some way, or being able to find a second job. So, yeah. I, um, am, I'm happy you took the kid out of the situation. So, yeah. So, it is, like, pretty late into the video, and the one story that I had is, like, really long, so I don't think I'll be reading that video for today, reading that story for today, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow the Instagram down in the do, and without
without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and in case have a nice and safe.